Javinsky, uh, a couple of days after your first start, tell us kind of what that experience was like overall for you. Shoot, I mean, it, I've been waiting for it for a while. Uh, just go out there and honestly just keep playing football like I love, especially at the running back position. It's always been my dream to play at a college level, and starting was just like, it just happened. So, like, thank you for my coach for the opportunity, honestly. Did it match up with kind of what you thought it would be going into it, or like how different was it from what you kind of like were imagining? Um, I would say, I mean, they're a good team, of course, so I got to give the respects to them. Um, but, I mean, we did the best we could. I did my best I could do out there on that day. So, I mean, the matchup, it's just, it is what it is. It happened. Yeah. With you guys, like, kind of struggling to run the ball all season, what are you kind of hoping to give – the team back there when you know that's kind of been, you know, an issue so far? Shoot, I would say honestly just my best and everything I can do on and off the field, especially on the field, just keep going, do everything I can. Honestly, that's it. How do you guys keep the spirits high in the locker room even on this losing streak? Shoot, even on losing streak, we always have high hopes for each other. Like even the guys on the team, we're always going to be positive, of course, because we know we, we're a better team than what we're showing right now. And we're just always trying to prove every day, even at practice, especially at practice against each other, that we are that team. So, I know you, you know, have just been inserted into the lineup, but uh, you know, with the offensive struggles over the last couple of weeks, how do you guys um, prevent yourself from trying to do too much out there and just kind of try and trust the game plan? Um, honestly, I feel like we always go off our game plan no matter what. We don't really try to do too much. That's just like how our offense is. We just do what we can do underneath our offensive rules, I guess. A uh, chance to make a bowl game still out there. How much are you guys focusing on that? Or are you trying to avoid looking at that kind of big picture and just keep it on the game? I feel like we're just trying to focus just on game by game because the bowl game, that's just like extra stuff. But we need to worry right now. We're trying to win the next game every week because that's where we want to go is winning. We want to stop this losing streak, honestly. I don't know if like pressure is the right word, but with you, I mean, with the running back room so depleted, you know, you know, the key limited, Jalen gone, Dylan obviously still hurt. Do you feel any like extra like expectations to kind of like carry the load, you know, with the running game, or kind of how do you how to kind of factor into things? Uh, honestly, no, I don't. Just because like all of us running backs, especially just the way we go every day with each other, we put trust into each other because. We know sometime during the season somebody's going to get hurt and one of us has to step up and just pick up the role of the other one because that's just how we do it. In the running back room, Coach Atawai teaches us very well just like the basic principles of his and how he runs his offense and how he runs the running back room. So that's how we look at it. Are you like picking up things from like Nakia or any of like the other backs or how much are they trying to like pass things on to you? Um, I would say we do that every time. We pick up everything from each other. Because we teach, we teach ourselves pretty well, like in the running back room. We'll go over like what we see on a play, and then we'll go like what do they see on the same play. It'll be like not even them running the ball. It'll be like someone out, like me running the ball or something. And they'll tell me like something I could do slightly better. And like I try to put that into the game because he has more experience than me. So I'm trying to learn from him in that way. I mean, even with you guys, I'm curious, like, kind of what effect the running game has on, you know, on the, on the offense in general. I mean, do you feel like teams, like, respect the running game enough to kind of come up in the box and kind of change some looks? Or how much do you think just, you know, just uh, kind of running the ball, um, how, what, what kind of effect it has, you know, on defenses? Um, I mean, running the ball in general, it has an effect on defenses only because you can get that pass game going if they're only trying to stop the run. So for us, I mean, we run the ball. I mean, it works. As you can see, it works. But, I mean, it's not always going to be there, like always, because they'll put eight in the box, and we're like, ah, oh, can't run it in that, so we're going to throw it. So, I mean, we're just going to do our best to make the running game open.